It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. And starting this one, Bobby Miller. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. The second baseman, Luis Renjifo. And he deals. That one finds the zone, and away we go this afternoon. Next offering is in for a strike. While wow, triple digits on the gun, I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Oh, and they're going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind and the pitch. Out towards right center field. Hernandez makes the catch for the out. One away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball. You know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one out in front no that ball. time. Line drive. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. In there oh, safely. Okay. These guys today are so great That's with handling hard. velocity. They're seeing good. high speeds Brand day good. after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. Brandon Drury to the plate. Just That's off the right. inside edge. <laughs> Lifted in the air, right center field. Hernandez sizing this one up. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. It's a safe fly as he comes across to score, and it's 1-0. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Taylor. Got the job done. Ward. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Fastball for a strike. 
And it's 0-1. He didn't want to give count. up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. The pitch. High in the air, out to right. Hernandez has it sized up. Nabs it. And that is that. One run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Angels one, the Dodgers coming to bat. And we're back. Pitching in our game today, Reed Detmers. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. We go to the bottom of the first. Mookie Betts will get us started. And there's the strike. Betts is definitely one of those guys that excels at everything he does, Boog. In terms of baseball, he can do it all. He's won World Series, batting titles, gold gloves, and everything else you can think of. Lined into left center, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Boog, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but... He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough Ready. back up the middle for a knock. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Just missed. And now the lefty on the ground, right side, Rangifo. And Freeman is retired. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this they come to the ballpark they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand will smith the next to hit takes outside and a good eye there runner at second here one gone Next That's offering is downstairs. That's Freedom. a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And ball nope. four to ball aboard. Four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the that game. We've seen him give up walks in the pass, man. and it's an issue man. once again early on. Muncie. And now it's Max Muncy. Big time power. And that one is lifted in the air. Moniak drifts towards it, brings it in. Two down. Batting fifth, the center fielder. So first and second with two outs. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, James Outman. Right through there for a strike. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. Betts, the lead runner at second. Smith on at first with two. Hey. On the corner for a strike, and it's nothing in two. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Swings and lines one towards the gap, and that gets down for a base hit. In comes the run for second. It's one more. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Hey. 
Here's the strike, 95 of that one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And a pitch. Ball one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Smash down the left field line. The one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Neto, relay to third, the tag out. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Onto the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers two and the Angels one. Back here at Chavez Ravine, here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Miller back to work. To third. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent bat control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little oh, bit more trouble. Second. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. That smash towards center. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. Batting seven. The catcher, number 14. Logan. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan oh, Ohapi. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air, look for the right pitch up, and then smoke it. Broken bat, and it's popped up. And he makes the catch. Two down. Batting it. The first baseman, Nolan Shonuel. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Nolan Shonuel. Lux. Zips it to oh. first. And that is that. Angels leave one. And our score remains 2-1. Here with my pal Ziggy. Now it's the DH, Chris Taylor. Taylor. The line of the pitch. Just missed. Singy wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff pitchers have today, you're just not going to have a lot oh. of success. pitch into center and a base hit so a man on base to start the inning it's so impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside instead good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock here's Kike Hernandez And there's a ball. Oh, 
and the pitch. Yeah. That clips a corner. Wow, just One a ball. beautiful back door slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw. Either. Three. Got him. And there's one away. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. I thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. And now it's Gavin Lux. Oh, the shortstop takes the ball. And a 1-0. Outside corner, there's a strike. That one finds the zone. One and two. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Pitches in the dirt. The count now two and two. Taylor over at first with one away. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Betts in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. This one in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. That misses the zone. Three and O. Oh. Freddie Freeman to bat next. At the belt and fires. And there's the automatic. Next offering is in for a strike. Great RBI ball. spot here. Right. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Moniak sizes this one up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So the Dodgers leave one as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back here at Dodger Stadium, and now Zach Neto. The pitch. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hernandez makes the grab one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able the to stay close. Now Second it's the eight. Angels' leadoff man, yeah. Luis Rangifo. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a foul straight back. Rangifo getting the start at second. 27 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. One out, base is empty. Left field. Snags it for the second out. The center fielder, number 27. Here's Mike Trout. Mike. He tripled and scored Trout. his first time. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because 
there are certain times the ball comes off the bat automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases and he just takes it away two outs swung on belted out going back pulls it in on the warning track So they go quietly there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Dodgers two and the Angels one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. As the lefty gets to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Freeman, a career batting average over 300. MVP. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. The batter, the catcher. And up to the plate is Will Smith. He walked and came around to score his first time up. That's, the ball. that's off the mark, and that's ball one. Smith, an all-star a season ago, hitting third in the lineup, a former first-round pick back in 2016. finds the zone. That's strike one. And that's outside. On the ground could be two. Good feed. That's one. And that's two. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some of them. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Max Muncy at the dish. Fly to left his first time. And look out. As that one ran in and got him. Lefty on lefty matchup, and sometimes... You know, you could be on roller skates a little bit where you're quickly wanting to get out of the way, but the other times where you're saying, it'll be safer if I just try to get a fat part of my body on the baseball and learn as much. Outman stands in now and watches strike one. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Whoa, Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Muncy, the runner at first with two gone. Ground ball to the middle, that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. That's back to back now singles back. for him. Tied it on the swing, was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. First and second, two down. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That one misses, and it's one to know. Right through there for a strike. First and second, two down. And the next pitch is way outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And it's strike two. Swing, 
swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. Three innings complete. It's the Dodgers two and the Angels one. Back here Maybe in L.A. And now the D.H., Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury. The why to kick the pitch. That hey. one at triple digits. You know, these Angels, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. Oh, and two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Riding to the plate. Fly ball down the line. Hernandez has it sized up. Pulls it in for the out. The white field, the Taylor Ward, Taylor. the next to hit for the Angels. Ward. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. One down. And next for the Angels, Anthony Rendon. Doubled his first time up. Down the middle for a strike. 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Two oh, consecutive yeah. base hits for this good. team. Got a fastball, Maybe. middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Mickey Moniak will hit next. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches or strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Right down the shoot. 0-2. Quickly in an 0-2 hole. You're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Line to left. And foul ball. Double play ball to second. Betts in plenty of time to first, two out. That was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right anytime you help move two runners into scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a few runs, even if it's still kind of early in the game. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. Line out his first time. There's a strike. Oh, and an 0-0 count. Not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Hey, for a strike, and it's 0-2. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Laser, base hit. One runs in. Second crosses the plate. 3-2, they take the lead. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So two down. Now here is Nolan Shanuel. Grounded out his first. And 
immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And a pitch. That hey. one finds the zone. And a count is 0-2. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. In the air, right field. And makes the grab. And that's the third out. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead to the bottom of inning number four. And welcome back to the ballpark. Chris Taylor now. The designated hitter. Chris Detmers back to work. That misses. Ball one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. One ball. Good pitch Two right three. there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Three. Got him. And there's one down. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle end. Kind of has cutter action, and it just launches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. Not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spin on it. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That's in for a strike at 95, and it's 0-1. And, the Dodgers down by a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. On to first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. We see a lot of pitchers working the upper part of the zone these days, especially late in the count. But here, he goes high and hard twice to start the at-bat. At that point, it's really tough to have any idea what's coming next if you're in the box. Makes you very vulnerable to a good breaking ball like that down below the zone. Lux in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Now a screamer into the outfield. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're down three to two. Back here at Chavez Ravine. We go to the top of the fifth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Zach Neto. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. You know, these Angels doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They have yet to strike out, and they're averaging more than a hit per inning. That's a great recipe for success right there. It's a 1-1. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. One up, one down. The batter, the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Luis Rangifo. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Muncie drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. 
And there's two away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Here's Trout, one for two. That one at triple digits. And here it comes. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. No problem beating out the infield hit right there. Good hustle getting down the line. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Brandon Drury now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. The 0-1. Trout on the move. That's hard hit in the line. Hernandez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels strand one, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. And we're back. John Chappie with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Mickey Betts. Here comes a pitch. In the dirt, one and oh. And it's two and one. We got two balls, one strike. There's a strike to Mookie. Way inside, gets out of the way. success against him. There's a strike. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Low roller to first. He handles it He's himself. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two oh, quick outs. The batter now will be Will Smith. Ripped on a line. And that's just foul. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Two down, nobody on. Popped up right side. Ward sizing it up. And that will end the inning.
we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the right fielder, Taylor Ward. There's a swing and a drive. That one's deep. Bangs off the wall. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he's in. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. That one at 101. He's been great in this one. High hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Fernandez snags it. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sacrifice fly. And they lead by two. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. Right through there for a strike. 0-1. That one lifted to left. Hernandez makes the grab for the second out. Now batting. The Nolan Shonwell, the next to hit for the Angels. That clips the zone. Strike one. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Moniak, around second, headed for third. And it gets by him. The run scores all the way from first. It's 5-2. Now battle. Nice line the drive with pull side, yeah. headed out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So, man aboard, stepping in, Zach Neto. This one popped up, foul ground, first base side. Freeman pulls it down, and that'll do it. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. To the bottom of the six we go, four, five, six. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Moore. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of them right here to get some critical outs. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. One and one. That one not close, and it's a ball and a strike. Swings through that. I think he was sitting off speed there. Movement in the One bullpen. Ball. Adam Simber getting ready to go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it blew up the release point in their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path who can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play. And they are doing some special things with it. One down, base is empty. And now two and nothing. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. 
When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Next three. offering is down low. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that squirts through. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now, Teoscar Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And it's one and one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. There's a strike. And another ball. It's a good take. Outman leads off first with one away. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two outs. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And first offering is fouled off. Taylor, a former All-Star, 33 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. And that's down and away. You know, Boo, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Swing and a ball popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Number 18. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Fly ball to right. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Dodgers strand a couple, and the deficit remains. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Luis Rangifo. The wind of the pitch. In the air, center field. Out and under it, and there's one down. And now batting, the center Mike Trout. Number 27, Mike Trout. Oh, great stop. The throw, it's there, and that's a great play. A quick move to his left, fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it, then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Brandon Drury, the next to hit. One's in there. That's strike one. Yep, and ball that one. Out. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. In the air, right field, and that'll fall for a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room oh, back behind down. the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground to the left, no, no, and it goes just foul. Drury off of first with two away. Oh, 
Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the right hander deals. Lifted in the air out to left. Hernandez makes the grab, and that's the inning. Angels lead one, and it remains 5 2. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Adam Simber. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Now pitching for the Angels. Number 90. So now Simber will go back to work. That misses, and that's ball one. That one missed. Two ball, no strike. Next offering is in for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. That's in there. And that is strike two. And down on strikes. One out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Oh, no, Tried no, to no. sit in between. The Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Yeah. Betts batting with one down. Takes a strike. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. On the ground, Neto. Throw off guard, he is safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. He didn't get a great grip on it, or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Man at first with one gone. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for three. In there at the knees. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Simber is ready. Swings through that one. No ball, two strikes. Simber picks the first. Betts gets back easily. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that he can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score a ball in the gap. And that'll fall for a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Now hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is Matt stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Right through there for a strike. One out. Runners at first and second. Struck him out looking. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not having to go down in an RBI spot. So now you've got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Muncy stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That's a little bit low. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit.
Damn. Clips the corner. Betts at second. Freeman at first. Two out of the inning. The tying run at the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Tying run at the plate. That one ran inside, almost got him. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And a base hit. Flying around third is Betts. He'll score easy. It's 5-3. Comes through with the RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a run. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Luis Garcia. Now, well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. James Outman getting ready to hit. Three for three with three singles. There's a strike. So the tying run at second. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Brings it in. That is the inning. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 5-3. Back after this on the show. We go to the eighth. Now it's Anthony Rendon. The pitch. Rolled over to third. Muncy. Over to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Now Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. Moniak. Warning track. Wall. And you can touch them all, baseball man. He made them pay for that one, and they add to their lead. It's 6-3. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Blake trying to into the game. Now, just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And the batter now, Logan O'Hoppy. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the eighth. The 0-2. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And here's the first baseman, Nolan Shonowell. Gets the call. Going wrong. And 
and there's a foul ball. Bounced up the middle. Lux tosses to first. That's out number three. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. Back here with my pal Siggy. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. And he deals. Bounce to the right side. Shanawa oh. steps on the bag. One gone to the bottom now, of the eighth. Next is the Dodger Chris. DH, Chris Taylor. Taylor. Wouldn't chase that time. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Carlos Estevez, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. That one misses in the dirt. Just missed. The Angels leading by three. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Now, here is Kike Hernandez. Strike one. Here's a run-scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown closer ready to come in. That pitch gets the corner. Only oh, two now. Man at first, one away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Got him swinging on that pitch away to finish him off. The new pitcher in the game, Robert Stevenson. And at the play for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. All one there. All one, no strike. Taylor off the first with two away. The shortstop takes a ball. There's a strike. Two and one now. That's down and in. Mookie Betts hoping for a chance. He would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boo, plenty of power in that bat, and they'd love to give him a shot here. And a foul ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first, a lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Base knock right field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Hey, whatever works, oh, right? Doesn't right. have to be impressive. Looks there are like a lot of nicknames people oh, attach dude. to hits like that. Blooper, yeah. flare, duck score, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Bets in the box now. Take strike one. Oh, 
much critical hey. right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And a pitch. Breaks and misses. It's a strikeout. Back here in L.A. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. Foul ball there. Trinan, a righty that throws with power. He features a sinker, a slider, a cutter. At the belt and fires. Way out front for strike two. Oh, well, you've got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Swing and a miss struck him out. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Just oh, missed. Out. A little bit high, maybe. Two and oh. And that one in the air center field. Outman tracks it down for the out. Mike Trout, the next to hit for the Angels. Now batting the center fielder, Mike Trout. In the air, out towards right center. Outman on his way over. Brings it in for the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Carlos Estevez. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Trout grabs it on the run. Really nice job to get your first down of the ball game. Catcher. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And first offering is fouled off. pitch that's in there and it's nothing in two just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days I never would have had a chance one down base is empty and he chases that one now only one out remaining well clearly just anxious right there and understandably so in an 0-2 count you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. And the pitch. Way outside. One and one. fly ball out of the left center field. Moniak has this one sized up. That's the ball game. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next pitcher stepping up and getting it done. You got to give them a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. 6-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.